Joe Rogan seems to have set up a chain reaction. Ever since he mentioned time travel and the return of Iron Man, publishers gave dedicated videos, trailers, and entire articles to this little rumor. So don't swipe or click away, because here is Iron Man 4 First Look. Ellen was the first one to ask RDJ about the possibility of a new movie. RDJ tried deflecting the question at first, but when he saw how persistent Ellen was, he just cracked down and said, okay, yes. After that Ellen interview, no one paid too much attention to RDJ and the possibility of a new Iron Man 4. After all, this was before Endgame, so we weren't too worried about RDJ making a fourth movie. Hit, then it happened. Tony Stark died in the battle with Thanos. Everyone mourned his loss, and we realized that we won't be able to see him in superhero movies anymore. Not wanting to give Iron Man up, fans started making concept trailers for Iron Man 4, and based on the views, we'd say that Iron Man 4 is gonna be a big fat cash cow for Marvel, if they ever decide to make one. Why? Because 15 million people just can't be wrong about a movie. There was another one with 10 million views. Countless other mini trailers popped online and we felt the tension for a new movie building. But let's leave the concept trailers aside for a moment. We talked about the Joe Rogan and RDJ interview that acted as the catalyst for this entire stream of events. So what happened there? As you may already know, Robert couldn't take it anymore. He was doing Iron Man since 2008. That's 11 years of being stuck with one character. Sitcoms don't last that long. So we don't blame him for getting tired of the character, even though it's Tony Stark. He wanted to branch out as an actor, and he felt like Marvel wasn't allowing him to do. Joe even talked about him smashing that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, he talked about Downey returning to Marvel in the future using a time machine. That's all you got? Cheap trick in a cheesy one-liner? Sweetheart. When we heard that, we were absolutely stunned. Not because it was a great idea, but because of what Robert said to that. The actor honestly thinks that we would hate him and feel a little annoyed that he's back at it again. Sir, you've underestimated our love for you. We would slap you with a glove if we had one. Anyways, back to the interview. All of this being said, we'll say that Tony Stark had the best send-off of any superhero ever. No matter who it is, no movie has ever paid proper homage to the actor to the lead they just killed off. But Tony was different. If nothing else ever changes and everything remains just as it is, his memory will echo throughout the MCU as the greatest Avenger that gave his life for humanity. But things will change. First of all, we think that they'll change in a completely different way from what Rogan predicted. RDJ won't have to come back like his older self from an alternate universe to offer his wisdom to the new Avengers for defeating some major league bad guy. They wouldn't even have to go back in time in the same universe and then bring young Tony Stark into the future. The possibilities are endless now that they have time travel, but we think that the show will go a different route. One that's a little more feminine. The first prediction we have is this. We think that Morgan Stark will take on the mantle from her father and she'll try to fill in her dad's shoes. Here's why. First of all, the idea is already proven. The most popular concept trailer among them was the one that included Catherine Langford as Morgan Stark. If you haven't heard already, we're here to tell you that Morgan Stark was actually cast in Avengers Endgame. She had a beautiful scene with RDJ right after he passed away and is taken to the Red Planet by the Soul Stone to talk to the one person Tony loves the most, his daughter. Catherine Langford talked about this clip on The Tonight Show and she revealed that she was a huge fan of the franchise. For the brief time she spent on the set, Catherine said that she got along with everyone there and absolutely loved working with Robert. However, she was forbidden from talking about it before the movie aired. Because, you know, legally binding contracts aren't something to take lightly. The clip was shown during a promo for the movie and only then did she feel comfortable speaking about it. This tells us two things about Catherine Langford. Number one, she's a professional. Number two, she'll do a damn good job playing Morgan Stark. With 13 Reasons Why, she more than proved she's a great actress. But then, after watching the clip and seeing how close she and Robert appeared on the screen, we can bet she'll do a good job. I'm sorry. It's, uh... For starters,